Ben and Ryan, R&B Reptiles, back at it again. We got another great video for you today. We're gonna show you an ovulation of our Enchi Highway to our Enchi Lori Banana. So that's gonna be exciting. We're also gonna give you an update on our Pastel Leopard Arroyo Het Clown Clutch. People have been asking about it. And so if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, please do, we'd really appreciate it, it's really easy. Also hit that like button down there and uh, stay tuned for the rest of this. Uh, a big shout out to Adam and Justin for giving Adam a shout out. <laughs> Slacking on the back. Slacking on the back. Should we just do it because Justin just did it? No? It's not funny? So I know we showed you this Enchi Highway last video. I think it was the last video. So Two videos ago, yeah. But we were telling you that we were pairing her up, hoping to get some eggs. And this is the male that we were pairing her with. This is an Enchi Banana Lori and it's very beautiful now we now think that Enchi and Lori are allelic so if that's correct and hope we're hoping to prove that out this year this would be an axe like super only throw Lori's or Enchi's and then I'll show you her again real quick why are we showing her again because she ovulated come here look at that come here Katie there look at that <laughs> Oh, that baby. So, get the little profile shot here. See that bulge? Mm-hmm. So we will see. This is an Enchi Highway, Enchi, which is also allelic. Mm -hmm. right? So this would be an ALS, <laughs> right? And this is an ALS. So yellow belly gravel or acts like super. So only throw yellow bellies or gravels. This guy should only throw Enchi and Lori. So everything will at least be a combo of Lori, yellow belly, gravel, and Enchi. That's the <laughs> base thing you could get from this pairing. Mm -hmm. So hey, that should be neat. Just wanted to show you that because it's really cool that we finally got that ovulation, wasn't sure. And we can get Super Enchis, don't forget. Could get Super Enchis, but no Super Enchi Lori's. We'll see. This is one that we have, this is probably the second or third the second or third clutch, I think it's the second clutch this season to prove this out. So we should have some good information on that. We had an awesome guest over on Herp House Rock, Ron St. Pierre, really cool dude. Awesome taste in music, awesome taste in video games. What the heck man, he produces some cool reptiles. We're gonna show you a clip right now. So you've been around for a long time. Um, I don't wanna get into Ryan, it's not Ryan and I time, you know, but what are some of the crazy stories you know, from either shows or hanging out with her people. Um, you don't have to name names, but if you do, it's fine. <laughs> but just some crazy times. Um, I mean, anything old school that you're like, you know, this one time. Benjamin uh, wants to hear about the rock star lifestyle that it is to be a reptile breeder. He wants yeah. rock star stories from I think that's what people like to hear. You know, everybody was <laughs> smuggling stuff in in the 80s from Australia. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I could tell you some stories about that, but I can't name names. But I was at a Don't place. name names. That's fine. I was at a place in the early 90s um, when a FedEx shipment showed up and had these giant poster rolls in it. And uh, I was dropping off some animals. And this dude's like, you're going to want to see this. And he popped open the poster roll and there was a six foot parenti in it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. And wow. I looked at my my wife at the time, and I'm like, and she was like, "No, do not even consider this." But I did, I did get to take it out and hold it for a few minutes, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is so awesome!" I don't know. One a cool thing, not really related to the reptile industry, but when I was 17, 16, some friends of mine took a couple of metro buses, and we went out to this place called Westline Mall in Hialeah, in Miami. And behind it was a canal that we knew had green iguanas on it. So we started walking, catching green iguanas, and all of a sudden, the, the bushes exploded. And I was like, man, that's a huge green iguana. And when we pulled back the, 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 the branches, there was a giant rhinoceros iguana sitting there on the ground. Wow. Which, at the time, they were stupid rare. Nobody was breeding them. And, and we ended up chasing it, and we ended up catching it. it was, that was the first cyclone 
for me. And it was this massive thing. And so, so that was pretty cool. So, and over the years, I had caught three or four other rhino iguanas in Miami. So that was wow. I used to breed cyclora for a while, and that was how I got into that. I I had always wanted those, and I had only ever seen them in books. I mean, I know Carrie came from Slayer, and we've been friends since I was since the '90s and um, back in the day. He actually saw that. That's a pretty cool story. He so a couple times over the years, um, like one day he showed up at my house, little Miami house, and he he came by. He wanted he was in town. He wanted to see. And then we got in his in this rental car of his, and we drove across the state and went to Mark Bell's place mm. uh, in the middle of the night. We, we woke Mark up at like 2 a.m. Mark was still hanging out, and then he gave us a tour. But it's a weird thing driving across the state of Florida with Carrie King from Slayer, somebody who I heard the first uh, Slayer Show No Mercy album when I was in this little record store in Miami called Discount Records, where they would. If you wanted to buy a record, they would rip it open and play it for you. So if you like that video, go check it out on our other channel. We're gonna put a link at the end of the video. Also, maybe a tag or something, mm -hmm. something like that. Give it a like and a subscribe. If you think it's cool, show your friends. We could really oh. use a little help here. It's hard growing a YouTube channel, you know. We all know, it's hard, man. And we also have it on Podbean and we're working on a few other platforms. On Podbean, soon to be on Google Play, Google Podcast. Soon to be on iTunes, soon to be on Spotify. Ben's on it. No pressure. No <laughs> pressure. So the spot nose and chocolate are allelic. Thanks, Justin. But the super, like the ALS animal combo for that should be the spocklet, right? <laughs> no? I think that's a great idea. Anything? Spocklet 2020. We're calling it. Right now. I'm texting it to Justin. Justin, Spocklet. It is dinner time though. It's probably not taking calls. In Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave a message. You've reached the cell phone of Justin Cobelga. Please leave a message and I'll return your call. Thank you. It's gonna beep. Hey Justin, this is Ben and Ryan from R&B Reptiles. Uh, we just wanted to say that the ALS version of the chocolate spot nose should be called the Spocklet. Just wanted to say that. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. <laughs> and your consideration. <laughs> <laughs> we have, as far as a leopard, we have more than this from this clutch foot. Get this. This is the one of the female actually. Here are the two females out of that clutch that we believe are pasta, leopard, arroyo. And then, whoa, whoa. Come and on. it was a super pastel leopard clown to a Rio. Suspected. Suspected Rio. So then we have this male. Oh, you're gonna mix these girls up. Good thing I can tell which one's which and quite frankly, they're the same thing. So if they switch numbers, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but I like to keep uh, uh come on, you're with your friends. Siblings. She hasn't seen them in so long. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is not hard at all. And we can compare that to this pastel leopard female. Yes, let's get five snakes on the table at once. Yes. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm going to get bit for sure. So you can see. I don't know if you can see. I'm just trying. <laughs> Now you're just juggling stuff. Why don't you put a couple away and then just compare two? So that's the one I would compare. This is a pastel leopard, but it's also a head clown, so there may be some influence. This girl's gone, I'm tired of it. Very pretty though. Crazy pattern, right? Mm -hmm. The yellows bleed onto the belly a bit. 
lots of loop-de-loops and squirrely stuff crossing over look at that that's like a, a circuit electrical circuit looks like mm -hmm. you know me i'm mr electric guy uh, are you <laughs> that's what they call me <laughs> look at that tail stripe with all the islands i don't know these all just look atypical to me for pastel leopards you know hey you picked the right bin so we're Doing? So we're still trying to figure out Lep um, Arroyo stuff along with everybody else. Um, it can be subtle in certain combinations, and especially with Leopard, it's a, it's a little tough sometimes. But look at this. So these are what we believe to be pastel leopard arroyos 100% head clown some of them have a really heavy head stamp almost like there's enchi in it not that one so much this one does this, this one's lighter but it's there but yeah. this one's way darker and you can see like this is a darker one and this is super bright compared mm -hmm. you know what I mean but it came from a super pastel, so they all have pastel in them for sure. You see, the bellies are super orange. So. So I don't know if this is helpful to you compare to help compare to what you have. Um. Uh, We've been told by a lot of people that work with the project that our female that we put it to is more than likely a Rio. So far, seems the, to be the clutches that she's had is three now. I think is it three or four? I think four. I have to go back and check. Um, everything seems to be a Rio. Mm -hmm. Some of the combinations, though, like we put her to that uh, Triton the one year, and like it was so so difficult to ID as babies so but if she's not a Rio she's a super really good looking actually you want to take a shot at her real quick sure she's super nice looking so so far all the evidence suggests even though we didn't buy her as an, a Rio that she is and so we got it from Dan Wolf when he was getting out of the business, retiring. And all the people that bought Arroyo stuff from him were sold Rio stuff. And they found that out after the fact. So we it wouldn't be just like an outlier for us to accidentally get a Rio. He was still trying to figure out a lot about the project himself when he was retiring. It was still very new. So IDing that stuff is it's difficult, especially when it's a subtle combination. But once you hit the Rio stuff, it starts getting really bold and crazy. So it's way easier when you hit the super. Although you couldn't figure that one out. So <laughs> so thanks so much guys for watching our video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, comment down below. Let us know you like what you're watching. If you don't like it, cuss Ben out. He edits this. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, we got another great video for you today. We're gonna show you guys an ovulation. It's our Enchi Highway to our Banana Lori. We have an ovulation we're gonna show you from our Enchi Highway to our Enchi Banana Lori. And also we're gonna show you an update on our Leopard Pastel. I'm gonna show you an update. I'm gonna, we're also gonna, uh, we're also going to show you an update on our pastel leopard arroyo het clown clutch and uh, you guys can take a look at that we know that you guys have been asking <laughs> i don't look like cookie monster uh a big shout out to adam that was funny. <laughs> adam we love you say si es for cookie. <laughs> i can't do that voice si, nope that's not si. <laughs>
C is nope. That's real. It's evil. My my voice. C is for cookie. Is not. C is for cookie. C is for cookie. Is that better? Du hast mich. Du. C C is for cookie. <laughs> nice shirt, Ryan. Thank you. This is a giant African millipede. We don't have them anymore. Sent them to Brian Barczyk. He's at the zoo now. Mm. Some nice purple. Purple purple. I'm looking like um oh, what's the guy's name? From McDonald's? Yeah, the purple guy. Is uh Grover? No. <laughs> it's uh Oh crap. I forget now. Cause I was telling you, you look like Cookie Monster in that shirt. I look like the <sighs> crap. Not the hamburger. Like. <laughs> Everybody remembers the hamburger. Snuffleupagus. No, that's these are all words. Dude, we should have done the video because now we're we got a runner. Um, comment down below. Tell me the name of the purple guy. From McDonald's. Mickey D's. So it's either gonna be I'll get this. Don't worry. <laughs> nope, not gonna get it. <laughs> that's why. Oh, you lodged yourself in there. Good job, buddy. I know. That's why I was trying to. Ooh. This is interesting. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's gripping. Quick, not stripped. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. Give me a bit. Ha ha! Ha ha! So this would be an ALS. <laughs> so I know we've been beating it, beating around the bush, beating the, beating the dead horse about the Herp House Rock. <laughs> I'm gonna beat a horse today. Dang it! <laughs> cool man. Sparklet. Sparklet. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm making shirts. 